We all love a good murder mystery. Who did it? Why did they do it? And how did they do it? But what happens when that person might be somebody as close as family? That's right, today on TV Shows Review, I'm gonna be reviewing the premiere of American Gothic. Talk about where I think the show will go over the season. So without further ado, here it is, the review of American Gothic. guys, like I said, Justin Sisk here with another review. We're going to be talking about American Gothic. The premiere came on two nights ago. I sat down and I watched it and honestly, I loved it. To my knowledge, I don't think this is anything that's really been done before. It's supposed to be a 13-part murder mystery series. So, it's not going to have like season one or season two, season three. After 13 episodes, we're going to find out who did it. And honestly, I can't wait. Everybody has their theories. I'm not really sure who did it at this point. There is a serial killer that has been ransacking the city for a couple years now. They haven't been able to find him. He's called the Silver Bell Killer. Now what he does is after he kills his victims, he will leave one single silver bell at the crime scene. That's his trademark. Well, our main characters, which is the Hawthorne family, which are Adeline Hawthorne and Mitchell Hawthorne, which Madeline is played by Virginia Madsen, who we can see in 23 and Haunting in Connecticut, and Mitchell is played by Jamie Sheridan, who was in Homeland and Arrow. Mitchell has built up a very large fortune. They are a very well-to-do family. He did this with his concrete business. He's an entrepreneur. Now, Madeline and Mitchell have four children, two girls and two boys. Those are Allison Hawthorne Price, who is played by Juliet Rylance, who played Tracy in Sinister, Cam Hawthorne, who is played by Justin Chatwin, who was Robbie in War of the Worlds, Tessa Ross, who is played by Megan Ketch, who was in The Good Wife and Under the Dome, and Garrett Hawthorne, who is played by Anthony Starr, who was on Banshee. Of course, all the kids are coming back home to celebrate and visit with the family because there's a big campaign going on within the family. Now, of course, when they come, some of them are married and they bring their spouses. Those, of course, are Tom Price, who's married to Allison Hawthorne, who's played by Dylan Bruce, who was on Orphan Black and in the new Flowers in the Attic, and Brady Ross, who's married to Tessa, who's played by Elliot Knight, who was Merlin on Once Upon a Time. Cam, one of the twins, also brought his young son, Jack Hawthorne, who's played by Gabriel Bateman, who played Robert in Annabelle. Now this is a big cast. There's a lot of characters to keep up with, which of course is great to have for a murder mystery show. Now basically what happens is the two twins, who are Cam and Tessa, are in the shed in the backyard and they find a box with a bunch of silver bells in it and a bunch of newspaper clippings from the silver bell murders. Now this leads you to believe that somebody in the house or within the family is the killer because the killing stopped about 14 years ago. Now see, they, they build it up to make you think that it might be the dad or the mom or the returning brother who is Garrett who has been MIA for about 14 years. So they give you a bunch of people who you might think did it, but they also have these other characters that could have had their hands in it because they're less obvious. In my opinion, this is going to be a great and wonderful show. The first episode was already great. It was filled with mystery, darkness, and of course, emotions. Because this is a family, you have to remember that they're trying to figure out which one of them is the murderer. If you have a chance, go and check out the first episode of American Gothic and keep continuing watching the show along with me because I need to find out who did it. My name is Justin Sisk. This has been a TV show review. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And also subscribe for more. And follow me on all of my social medias. And I'll see you guys in the next review.